Hello students welcome to the next lecture on the statistics today we will discuss about examples of the Neiman Pearson lemma myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics stapur institute so the last lecture was on the Neiman uh, Pearson lemma what is the principle of this Neiman principle lemma is the target of this lemma is you have to find the critical reason w such that this w will be the most powerful reason and make sure that whenever you are working on the neiman pearson lemma the two things which should be satisfied so that you can apply this neiman principle lemma the first thing is you your hypothesis should be the simple whether it's a h0 or whether it's h1 it must be the simple are there how you can identify whether it's a simple or composite you have to watch the my previous lecture that simple or the composite hypothesis Uh, channel name Dr. Harish Gurk and the playlist is testing of the hypothesis. Second thing is whenever you have to define the critical reason W, then this alpha, this alpha is called as the level of significance or somebody called as the type one error. Then this L one and L two are called as the likelihood functions. Whenever any of the values, any of the reason in this reason W, the likelihood function over this H one divided by H zero is greater than of the k, and your target is to find this value of the k. This is your target to find in this Neiman-Pearson lemma. How you can identify that? Uh, what is the proof of this Neiman-Pearson lemma? That you can simply uh, uh, see in my last lectures. That is the Neiman-Pearson lemma. It's only all the ten minutes are there. So all you can see what is the type one error. All are available in the, my playlist are here. now how you can find the best critical reason what is the meaning of the best critical reason is uh, that is the most powerful critical reason it is also called as the best critical reason our target is to find the best critical reason in this neiman pearson lemma what is the strategy behind that how you can use this neiman pearson lemma to find the best critical reason i will tell you the two step approach the step number 1 is you have to firstly define the likelihood function so we all knows that how you can define the likelihood function like of this f of and the parameter and once you will define this likelihood function we will calculate this value of the l at the at the h1 say if your h0 will be my theta is my theta 0 and h1 is my here both should be the equality that's why it's a simple form so we will firstly calculate this value of the h at the point h1 that is l at the theta 1 i substitute here as theta 1 called as the l1 or this is l1 and similarly for the l2 now we can start from here and we can find the critical reason w once we are finding the value of the critical reason w then our target is to find this value of the k by using the definition of the level of significance so whatever the answer of the k you can get that will be your best critical reason so this is the two step rule that we will follow in this examples so let's see how you can solve these uh, various examples here so firstly you have to read the statement so say x is a single observation so it means whenever you want to define the step 1 likelihood function so it means i varies from 1 to 1 because it's a single observation the pdf is given to you here this is xi and theta and find the test with the help you with the with the help of the best critical reason that is a most powerful test with the level of significance is given to you here so it is given to you h0 and h1 are given here now the first thing is you have to verify that whether your hypothesis are simple or not you can see your null and the alternative hypothesis both are the equality form so it means they are i simple now once it is a simple it means you can apply the neiman principle lemma that is by using here so in order to define this we will start firstly we define the value of the likelihood function here so since it is a single observation so i can write like here what is the value of the fxi is now my here now what is the value of the l of theta 1 that is l what is the theta 1 is h1 what is the hypothesis h1 is my 2 at l2 what is the theta 0 that is l3 here now we can substitute the value this is the value of the theta is 2 so i can substitute here it will get as this divided by here this is the result corresponding to them now can you find the value of the x from here your target is to find the value of the x from here so it is my 2 by this is 2x upon 3x square 
is greater than k so what is the meaning of that it is 2 by 3 x is greater than k can you find the value of the x x you can easily find that that is nothing but my 2 by 3 is greater than of the kx so x is less than of 3k by 2 is there so you can see a 2 by 3x are there now i can call this value as my k star now this is a k is a denominator are there so once you will write this as a k star then the critical reason is why x w x is less than or is equal to k star this is my step number 1 now once you are defining the step 1 your step 2 is you have to target to find the value of the k star level of significance is given to you 0.05 so what is the definition of the level of significance we can start from here what is the meaning of this that is a probability x lies between here that means x is less than of the k star what is the h0 is theta is equal to 3 that is the meaning of this now alpha is my so all of you know that how you can define the probability that is a integration this is from x 0 to k star because the lower limit is my 0 and this is my f of x of dx so what is the value of this this is nothing but my here but theta is my 3 so it will be my 3x square so i can substitute this here as 3x square now can you integrate them what is the integration of this this is the 3x cube upon 3 upon 0 to k star is 0.05 so 3 will be cancel out so it will be k star cube is 0.05 can you find the value of the k star this is nothing but my cube root of 0.05 so a uh, cube root of this is my here. so i can substitute this value here you will get the most powerful test critical reason and that's the target of this neumann principle and so this is the way you can solve this problem look at one more example are there so again it is given to you now in this case it is a normal distribution variance so it means xi follows the normal distribution with the mean is mu variance is 16 it is given to you and you have to find the best critical reason that is the most powerful test sample size of 16 what is the meaning of the 16 it means once you are defining the likelihood function now it's i from 1 to 16 here the level of significance is given to be here hypotheses are given by this also you want to find the power of test power of test is nothing but 1 minus theta we will see here now you can clearly say that this h0 and h1 both are in the equality form so it's a simple hypothesis then you can apply the neumann pearson lemma our target is to find here firstly you have to define the likelihood function what is the likelihood function is i varies from 1 to this xi what is the f function is normal distribution so all of you know that what is the normal distribution this is 2 pi sigma e raised to power minus half x minus mu upon sigma square now in this case sigma is given to you so since it's a variance so what is the sigma sigma is my 4 so i can substitute the value here you will get this one so you can see root of 32 so if i substitute here it is 4 if i use them as a square root it becomes a 16 so then it's a 32 pi this is my 4 so i can substitute here now this value as my constant so i can take it is outside so it will be my root 32 pi raised to power 6 so i can take an as a half it will be sorry 16 so it will be my 8 and it as a summation of this now we can find the value of the l1 what is the l1 h1 that is a 15 what is the l0 h0 is my 10 so this is my k now we we can substitute the value of the 15 here that is a mu is my 15 i can write this value sir you can see this values are cancel out i can take it as up, our target is to find the values of the x from here now i can write here now you can open this bracket a minus b whole square you can write this value as of this this value as of this now you can once you open this bracket what will happen you can see this value will be cancel out because this is a positive sign and now you can expand them you can see this value are like here this is the minus of 36 100 upon 32 and this is plus 1600 upon 32 is will be here now your target is to find this value so this exponential part it can be this is exponential so it can be taken as a ln of, of this now you can write like here now you can find this value 
this negative sign can be taken as a positive here and so on now how you can this is a summation of the xi's i varies from 1 to 16 how you can solve them so i can what can i do that i can divide it by 16 on the both side so what will happen if i divide it by 16 what will happen of this this is sum divided by an observation that is nothing but my sample mean so i can write i so i can divide it by 10 here so once you divide it like so now this is the expression which are totally dependent on the k i call as this is k star so what is the meaning of that that means the critical reason is my x bar is greater than or equal to k star is the most powerful here so your target is to find the value of k star level of significance is given to you here so we can start from here x belongs to the this h0 you can see what is my h0 is h0 is my 10 so i can write the value here how you can solve that so once it is a normal distribution so it means your target is to find firstly the distribution of this how you can find the distribution of the sample mean we all know that whenever x follows the normal distribution then x bar will follow the normal distribution again it is given to you that this follows the normal distribution variance is given to you 16 then x bar will follow the mu variance square by n and in this case n is my 16 so this value becomes my 16 upon 16 that is my 1 so it means x bar will follow my normal distribution with mu and 1 once it's a normal distribution you can define as the standard normal variant like of this z is x bar minus the mean of this divided by here so i can convert this as i can subtract me mean on the both side this is x bar and then we can divide it by one here this is so i can write this value as of 10 so since mu is my 10 so i can substitute this value of mu as here so what is the value of this is this is nothing but the z this is my x bar minus of here how you can find this value that's a very simple you can look about the normal distribution table or if you look about that what is the meaning of that this is z is greater than say x is 0 0.05 now we all know that this is similar to the i can write also this value as same as that of this because of the smith thickness of the normal distribution so it means my target is to find this value how you can find that we can look about the normal distribution table look at the values of the 0 0.05 which is lies here it lies in between them it means minus 1.6 from here and what is the middle value of this is 0 0.0 0 0.045 so if you add them it is my minus 1.645 so what is the meaning of that i can write this value also as this is minus k star minus this is 0 0.05 now if you compare them what is the meaning of that this is minus k star this is minus 1.645 so now minus will be cancelled out can you find the value of the k star from here this is my k star so once you will get the value of the k star you can substitute in the critical reason you will get the most powerful test second part is we have to find the power of the test that is a 1 minus beta beta is like here what is the x bar now i can write this value as 1 minus of this this is here now we know the value of the k star so we can substitute the value of the k star over the h1 k star is my here again it is x bar so x bar will follow the normal distribution with mean and one so i can again convert it into the z form so mean this is my 15 so it is 11.645 minus 15 upon 1 now i can write here again how you can find this value i can write this value as of this is less than of minus 3.36 now our target is to find the value of this from the normal distribution table minus 3.36 you can see it's a minus 3.36 that is a 0, 0.0 so i can write this value as triple zero four so what is the answer of this you can simplify them it is a nine whatever the answer of this nine 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 six are there is the required answer so this is the way you can solve the newman pearson lemma problems you have to find remember your target is to find the value of the k so that it becomes the most powerful test you can find some other videos like the minimum variance unbiased rao blackman how to write this type one proof of this all are available in the playlist channel name dr Rishkar. till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various video best of luck students happy learning